You be encouraged by that, my friend. Revelation 22, verse 12 says, Behold, I am coming quickly. Present tense participle. He is on the way. It's not even that he will be coming. He is in the process of coming. And he will reward your labor for him in that day. Listen, God knows. God knows. And Christ will reward in that last day. Finally, be enthused. Does your spiritual life need more passion, more zeal? Does your spiritual life need more energy? Does your spiritual life need to wake up and to be filled with a new dynamic enthusiasm for the Lord? You remember that he says that he spews lukewarmness from his mouth. Literally, he vomits lukewarmness from him. He says, I'd rather you be hot or cold. The truth of the return of Jesus Christ should thrill our hearts and should electrify our souls. This truth should cause our spiritual pulse to quicken and should cause our heart to throb. Jesus Christ is coming. And if that doesn't thrill your soul, then you need to be saved. A Christian man was speaking to an unbeliever, and a car went driving by, and on the back of the car was a bumper sticker. And the bumper sticker said, Maranatha. And the unbeliever, with some cynicism, said, what does that mean? The Christian said, it means Christ is coming. The Lord is coming. Maranatha. The unbeliever said, oh, I don't believe that. And the Christian said, well, that's because he's not coming for you. That's why you don't believe in the second coming. Because if he was coming for you, you would believe it. I want to ask you, my friend, is he coming for you? When the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the trumpet of God and the voice of the archangel and the dead in Christ rise first and we are caught up to meet the Lord in the air, will you be caught up to meet the Lord in the air? Or will you be left behind to go through the days of great tribulation upon the earth? And I want you to know if you reject the gospel now, in that day, God will harden your heart and blind your eyes lest you believe the truth. You have the day of opportunity now, this moment, to believe upon Jesus Christ. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, today is the day of salvation. The Bible says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. The Bible says, boast not yourself of tomorrow, for thou knowest not what a day may bring forth. If you need to be saved, if you need to come to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want you to know you are so much closer to the grave. Death is beckoning for you. You have this moment in time now to believe upon Jesus Christ. While it is day, while you have opportunity, call upon Christ to save you, for he is coming back. When Christ shall come with trumpet sound, oh, may I then in him be found dressed in his righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. I invite you this day to believe upon Christ, to stand upon the solid rock of Christ, and when the trumpet sounds, you will be caught up, dressed in his perfect righteousness to stand before him. Let us pray. And as I lead us in a word of prayer, I'm wondering if we could sing the last two verses of It Is Well With My Soul. Our Father, I pray 
that for those here in this place, that this seed would fall upon good and fertile soil. That, Lord, those believers who are here today, I pray, God, that you would inject in them a new compulsion, a new commitment, a new determination to do your work while it is day. I pray that we would be found busy doing your work when you return. And we say, Maranatha, Lord, come quickly. Come now. We long to be caught up to meet you in the air. And, Father, I pray for those here today who are outside the kingdom, who are outside of Christ. How could they hear, Father, this truth and remain hesitant and remain indifferent and hesitate to give their life to Christ? Lord, I pray that you would take these precious truths and press them to their heart and may it burn within them with new meaning and may they come to that place where they repent of their sins and they believe upon Jesus Christ and become a part of the body of Christ. And when Christ returns, May they become one for whom he is returning. Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.